It's Naval Orange Harvest season. Now I'm here in the Naval Orange Orchards of Xinfeng County, East China's Jiangxi Province. These Naval Oranges are known for their thin skin and sweet, juicy taste. The county produces over 280,000 tons of Naval Oranges every year, sold to more than 10 countries and regions around the world. Today, I invited Xiao Ru, a volunteer from the Xinfeng Naval Orange Association. She's going to show us how these Naval Oranges maintain such high quality and stand out from the rest. Hello, Saru. <laughs> Hi. Uh, welcome to Xinfeng. So, would you like to try one of our navy oranges? Yeah, I'd like to try. Mm. It's really sweet and juicy, not sour bit at all. That's right. Thanks to our subtropical monsoon climate, the temperature difference between day and night during the fruit growth period in summer and autumn can exceed 12. That helps the oranges accumulate more nutrients, making them sweeter and tastier. Yeah, I noticed that all the farmers are holding scissors and they make two cuts for each navel orange. Is there any special reason for that? Yeah, you look carefully. We call this two-cut method. We use special scissors to avoid scratching the peel. The first cut is made about 1 to 2 cm from the fruit stem, and the second trims it flush with the fruit's shoulder. Doing it this way prevents damage during picking which helps preserve the orange's quality, appearance, and shelf life. Want to give it a try? Yeah, I'd like to try. Let's go. Ah, you want to try it? Can you? Can you? How do you do this? Do you have any special rules? You have to hold it on the ground. Hold it on the ground. Hold it on the ground. Yes, yes, yes. OK OK， 剪剪剪，挨到这个地了，挨到这个地到下面。OK OK，、啊、好，这样子。I like to give a cut <笑>。我们一般都要剪平的嘞。哦、oh.。因为剪的太高了，它会把这个七成给剁了。哦、oh.。She said, I'm not a good operator, to be honest. Yeah, it's not easy to get the cutting distance just right. I had no idea that uh, getting uh, fresher and sweeter oranges involves such careful steps. So, yeah, I see that the drones are fly over here. Yes, and after picking to save as much time as possible, many local orchards have started using jewels for transport. After tasting the navel oranges in the oceans, they were all randomly picked to get the best ones. The navel orange we actually sell have to pass a lot of uh, tests. Yeah, why do you think that there's no one here? Yes, what you are seeing now is our sorting orange workshop. Actually, only three tasks need to be done uh, by people. One worker plays the oranges and another moves them along, another one keeps an eye on the machines, and most everything else is fully automated. Yeah, that's so cool. Can you walk me through each part? Uh, of course. We have 20 steps here, uh, but uh, uh, let me show you some interesting ones. Okay, no problem. Okay, this one is a robotic depalletizer. It quicks to pick up 
the oranges and uh, put them down on the conveyor. So uh, it can speed up the whole process. Don't you think these robots move pretty fast? Yes, I can see that this saves a lot of manual work. Okay, now let's uh, look up uh, another one. Machine. This way, right? Uh, yes, let's go to there. Wow, we can see that there's a lot of machines here. Yes, it's complex. Oh, okay, let's go okay, let's upstairs. Up the stairs. Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't yeah, see it before. And, uh, yeah, you can look at this machine. We call it a defective fruit remover. It's a quality inspector. And it can sports automatically removes damaged uh, rotten fruit. So we don't need people anymore. Now let's... Orange. Oh, that was right. Yeah. And look at uh, this. Meat. You can look at uh, this. They take pic pictures of uh, different angles of the orange. Oh. So we pick out the bad ones. Yes. But uh, what if the navel orange is damaged inside and the photos can't see that? So How to deal with this situation? Uh, we need another machine. Let's another go machine. go to there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's really like a puzzle. <laughs> yeah, it's a high technology. And we can see that there's a lot of navel oranges already packed up. Yeah, uh, it will send to customs. As we can, uh, as we all know, there's uh, lots of customers from across China, around the world. They yeah. all like the navel oranges here. Yeah, because uh, our navel orange is uh, sweet <laughs> and tasty. Yeah, uh, and it's also very juicy. Uh, yeah. This way, right? Yeah. Let's go up. Another big machine. <laughs> uh, yes. There's an operator there. Mm. And there's also a very big screen. Yeah, this this machine uh, is a visual sorter. We use this machine vision and AI checks the oranges all over for tiny flaws, such as uh, scratches, spots, internal cracks, or puncture marks. Then sort them quickly based on set standards. That way, we can meet different market needs. The whole process is like giving each orange an X-ray, scanning it from every angle. Uh, you can see different uh, angles of these pictures. These pictures are for single, a single orange. Oh, wow. Yeah, the inspection process is really strict. More, I see it's more, uh, way more reliable than just using the human eye, right? Mm, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this line looks like a uh, packing. Mm, yes, it's packing. Put them into your boxes, right? Uh, right. And we will go to the delivery system, the oh, package. Delivery system. Uh, okay. It's the last one? Yeah, of course. Uh, the last delivery system, it can handle 3,000 to 4,000 boxes per hour. Automatically, uh, from filling and weight checks to smart checking and the logistics sorting, everything is connected. It makes sure inverse orders are handled fast, accurately, and are fully traceable. We can also magically sort the oranges by size, 
So how many origins can it check up in a day at most? Uh, the workshop sold over 1 million kilograms and uh, it can sell the navy oranges across uh, the world. In this 20,000 square meter space, we pack more than 15,000 boxes daily. Yeah, I, I can see that this place is really like a big exam hall for oranges. Passing is not easy and I see that it's very difficult. Yeah, you got it. Now you have uh, no learned how these uh, good oranges are picked. Let me show you what else we make from navy oranges besides the fresh fruit. Ah, oh, we need to go to another place? Mm, yes. Okay, let's go. Besides selling fresh navy oranges, Xinfeng also expands industries uh, for byproducts such as you can see wine and this enzyme. The here we have the tea, this tea. And the tea will in different uh, formats in small bowls. Also uh, we have the peel, also we have this one. And uh, they are also coming with the paper cup teas. So would you like to have a try? Okay, I'd like to try have a try. Where is it? Ah, this one, right? Yes. So the tea is inside, right, uh, inside the cup. Yeah, yes. This one combines dried mm. navy orange peel with Fujian white tea. Uh, and uh, it is lightly baked. You, are t you will taste a hint of natural sweetness. And since it's this portable paper cup, it's clean and convenient. Whether you are serving guests at home, having afternoon tea at the office, or take it to the gym. Oh. Yeah, I think it really tastes good. <coughs> good. Yeah, as we can see, Simple has used the navel orange to transform from traditional farming into modern industrial cluster. Today, Simple's navel orange industry is worth over 7 billion yuan, helping more than 60,000 local farmers increase their income. Today, they build a sales network covering all of China and reaching the world, not only through more than 2,100 direct sales point and e-commerce uh, platforms domestically, but also via cross-border e-commerce to countries like South Korea, Singapore, and Russia. So welcome to try these sweet, delicious navel oranges. Thanks for watching and see you next time.